Hey everybody, it's Bobby from DGX, and I'm gonna do a tips and tricks video. Uh, I never made one. Anyway, let me get right to it. Uh, this one will show you how to level really fast in I Am Setsuna. Uh, I don't think it'll get you cap level, but it'll get you pretty high uh, in the beginning of the game. Um, right now I'm about level 30, and I pretty much used this spot uh, to get there mostly. Uh, here we go. So, where you want to be in the game, and it's not too far in, is the town of Hidbury. This is the town where Kerr is from. Uh, you don't need to know anything about the town, you just need to be able uh, to have gotten here, and you'll know where the spot is. Just southeast of the town is the area that we're going to go to. So what you want to have before you go there is some tents and maybe some potions and ethers if you're going to use them. I don't personally use them. Uh, I just use tents and what I do is when I need to refill, replenish uh, MP, I come out here and use a tent. Um, actually it's only two battles. And if we're going to the Morbrus Mountains, and it's right here in the first room, you fight two quick battles, and that's what you do. But you want to be careful in the second battle, and I'll tell you why once we get to it. If you have these two guys together and use Crosscutter, you'll just destroy this battle every time. You'll just destroy him. And I basically do that every time. Now in this battle, it's the squirrel, the dark sprit knight squirrel, and you know they warn you not to fight this guy early on, uh, as he may be too difficult and could defeat you. And it may be possible that that you could encounter him in that state. So what I suggest doing is not fighting him right then. Go to the town and save, and then come back, and you know prep up and come back and fight this guy. And the thing about this guy is he has high evasion, so you'll miss a lot. So what you want to do is get into battle with him. And when he does this, handstand riding the snowball, he'll have guaranteed evasion. You won't be able to hit him. So sit here and just let your momentum gauge fill up. He'll drop off the thing and just do a regular attack with him to try to hit the momentum strike. You'll get two chances to land a hit on him. Magic seems to land on him more often, so I'm gonna use Shock with the main character, and again, try to land a momentum, and you'll get like two chances. There. You land one hit, you kill him. And you rinse and repeat that process. Now I'll do it one more time, and I'll be quicker about it, so because I've explained most of it already. But I just want to give a review of what you can do. So you just leave the room, head back and you do this and if you don't have enough money for the weapons in the next town you can sit here and grind this spot until you do have money for that and it's a great spot to get materials to sell so see how much I got there and you just do that battle over and over again it's a little repetitive, but it's makes you pretty powerful so that you can kind of coast through the story a bit. So he's doing that thing again. My momentum's already charged by one, but I'm gonna wait. Just gonna just wait until he jumps off. He jumps off, and I'm gonna use shock. So you get that sprint knight as soon as you can. Target him, and I'm gonna try to hit the momentum. So I, usually the momentum is like right after you select the trick. You see the little indicator. And you press it, hit him, and there you go. Now, sometimes he'll take a turn or two. Sometimes he'll be very dodgy and just not want to get hit. Um, but if you use magic on him uh, with your magic users and you try to hit the momentum, you'll get you'll get bonus items for doing that, and you'll more likely than not hit him because you'll have more than one chance per turn to hit him. 
Because as long as one of those hits lands, you're good. So, uh, I don't want to spoil any of the story, so I'm not detailing any of that. But there is a section ahead, so be warned if you don't want to see any further. Uh, don't go ahead, but there's another spot, like, right here in this area. Called the, in the tw Twel Lusk Mountain. Uh... Oh, I can't pronounce. Anyway. I'm just gonna use a tent. Because this battle is a little more difficult. It's not a special sprit night, uh, guys, but... I'm just going to save real quickly here. Sorry for that. These guys, they could kill me, I guess. I haven't fought them in a, in a minute or two. So anyway, go in here. And it's kind of the same thing. So you fight this first it's battle, you can kind of avoid it if you want. But for the hell of it, I'm just going to... Do it. Okay, that guy met dodge. Yeah, see, for all that mo those materials, I would do that battle like a million times. Alright, um... So, right here, this area, you fight three guys. I think, I'm not sure if there's, you know, the dark ones, because they look the same to me. Um, but... You fight these guys, and they're exceptionally more difficult than that other guy. So you want to use whatever you can use to defeat them. See? They're not dead, and I've been one-shotting everything, so I'm going to try lightning here. Well, that, that did some damage, but these guys, they're tough. That guy froze him. What is it? Alright. Oh, oh, damn it. Alright. Okay, so... I'm gonna try this. Damn it. Oh, he didn't have momentum. Damn. Come on. No! Oh, man, that's why I should've saved. <laughs> Well, that's why I did save. Alright, let's try that one more time. I can't end the video on a fail like that. <laughs> but that but that battle lands you 3k XP. And I have not been farming that spot yet, only because I'm not powerful enough yet. Um, maybe I need a different strategy here. So, I'm going to try one more. So, cross cutter. See, I'd rather just grind the, the original battle, because I can do it like three times before I even finish this one battle. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, lightning would be great here. So, uh, lightning. There we go. So, I'm gonna try this. Alright. Damn, dude. I hate when they do that. Alright. Where is it? There. I don't know if that cures freeze, but it says it cures all stats. Yep. Alright. Oh, they killed him. Alright. Man, I beat them the first time I fought them. Like, they never kicked my ass so hard. Alright, so... I'm gonna revive him. Just sort my items, they're all over the place. Do this. God. Good, they missed him. 
Come on. Oh my god! <laughs> they have so much HP! Alright. So, I'm just gonna do a combo here. Oh no. Oh god, this is bad. This is real bad. <laughs> Oh my god, she's never gonna have her turn. Okay. So... Oh no! Oh... Wait only waits when you're in a command menu. Well, I'm not powerful enough for that battle yet. But the first battle I showed... Gets you 1k XP. You see how much more guaranteed it is. This one... Is way too hard for me to do right now. I can't one shot them. I'm not even close to one shotting them. So, but it lands 3k XP. My guess is either this place will be a place to come back to, or it'll be it'll be another place that's better than that. But 3,000 XP a pop is a lot. So just to feel better, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna farm that spot one more time. Alright, so one more review. If you have Crosscutter, just use it here. You'll just destroy them. Or any ability or tech that you have that can hit everything on the screen at once. Usually wipes them. Can momentum kill um, those guys, you could get a lot of uh, materials to sell. So, again, do not attack him when he's doing this action on the snowball, when he's doing snowball ride. Just wait, let your momentum gauges fill up, and then attack him. Try aerial strike on here. Try shock. I'm gonna try to land the momentum. There, dead. I bet if I leveled five levels, <laughs> I could go and kill that battle. I bet you I could kill those three guys real fast. I bet you five levels would do it. Probably just three levels, actually. Five is a little... I think it's pushing it. Because I did win that battle once before. So just wait. Just let your momentum gauges fill. Because he doesn't really attack. Barely ever attacks. I can sit here and just wait. He'll never... I wouldn't say he never attacks. He attacks, but he generally doesn't. Um... Oh, there we go. Yep, there he goes. That's luck, because he never... He barely ever lands a hit on that fucker. Generally, when you get to this area, you're about level 19 when you get to this area. So you're probably even, probably not even level 19 yet. You could get to this area earlier, depending on how much you 
you grind in the, in the beginning of the game, which is not a lot. The game kind of brings you to this point. Yeah. <laughs> Just about to get to 31. When I get to 31, then I'll cut the video off. Maybe I'll go back and try that battle one more time. Alright, actually, shock. Yeah. So it's important to use an ability that will land twice, like that will get tried twice, and then you generally get two. It's like two chances per per character turn. Once you do that, uh, that dude is pretty easy. You can just come back and keep doing it, and as you level, it gets easier and easier to land hits on him. the uh, momentum strike there. Got it there, though. Oh, I didn't kill him, though. Like, the regular battles now literally give me no XP. I mean, I don't want to say they don't give me any XP, but they barely move the bar. Like, you can't... It's like 60 to like maybe 100... ...per battle. I just want to I just want my revenge. I want to go. I want to level up and go back and murder those guys. Can't just, can't just kill me. I want one more level, and then I'm gonna go back and try again. I gotta win. I'm just try. Let's see here. Nope. It only hits her one. I want to open this thing. Just like that, let you know that you're coming back later. Like, yo, you can't open this now, so you're probably gonna end up opening this later. Here. Where's my, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna use a tent. Flex bonuses are random, like for doing momentum attacks. And they're permanent, they're like permanent boosts to your attacks, like your combos and attacks. Game doesn't really tell you that, but that's what they are. Alright. Um Alright, shop. <laughs> Wonder if I even need to do that anymore. One of my items is full. Maxed out the stock. Yeah. 
Do some running around in Destiny with Mike from DGX and uh, another guy. Simply name him Joel. Nope, he still missed. Alright, let's do this. Oh my god. Alright. Oh. I'm not listening to my own advice. I'm just sitting here, <laughs> letting him do whatever he wants on that thing. All right, there we go. I'm just gonna. There we go. There we go. Again. <laughs> so I'll remember. Don't attack him when he's doing snowball ride. Just you'll just miss. Just wait. Just let your mom momentum gauge fill. So, I just want to get to level 32 and then I'll be done. I don't enjoy farming as much as the theme. But sometimes farming, like finding a way to farm like this, helps you understand the battle system more. You find an effective way of doing it. Yeah, there we go. I never, when I play a turn-based RPG, I never get tired of being able to destroy a whole group of monsters in one fucking turn. It just never gets old to me. It's like a, that's what I want to be in the game. I want to be able to be super powerful. I don't think I'm gonna do much more because I don't want to completely break the game and make every like every boss encounter like super easy. But at the same time, I don't like grinding for too long. Like, yeah. damn it! go back and go for the 3k battle. I'll try that one more time. I'm wondering if they did this on purpose, because this is like really... Like, this thing is super easy, I'm wondering if he's broken. He doesn't attack nearly as often as you think he should for such high speed. And it's incredibly easy. Oh my god, but she didn't level. I can't go. I, I, she's got to be leveled. Alright, one more round. Why? Oh, 
I need to go sell. Oh, come on. Alright. So. There we go. I'm level 32 now. I think I'm satisfied. I don't think uh, I need to farm that spot anymore, actually. Uh, that's not to say I'm going to go right and farm this next spot, but I am going to try again. So... I'm gonna avoid anything that would oh, cause any spoilers. Alright, let's see here. Sell. I have a lot to do, sell. Yeah, I've got a lot of money, you know, um, and I've already bought, like, the latest weapons I can get up to this point, so should be able to afford the next set. Uh, it's weird that you can't sell weapons. I don't understand that. At least maybe I'm not far enough yet. Maybe that, that'll make sense later. Maybe there'll be some sort of synthesis system or something. Like you could synth weapons together or break their and down their components or something. I doubt it, because just don't see them popping that in later. I think they got most of the game mechanics out of the way at the beginning, which I think was a mistake. I think they, they forced too much of it too fast. They should have let you learn a little bit about how the momentum system works first. And I don't like how you obtain the Sprit Knight or the abilities in this game. It's a little... It would have been fine if you just earned them by level. Oh, wait a minute. This is not the way I wanted to go. This came out of here force of habit. some more of those. Just gonna save in case I die again like I did last time. It's a little embarrassing. It's okay. No, I'm, not. I'm not gonna cry. Oh, a monster there. Oh, fucking ran. Asshole. I like the rare monster battle song. Okay. Right. Now you can eat meals, which I've never done, to be honest. I found my first recipe in the town around here. I don't. I don't think I talked to enough of the city here. Let me find your meals. And they would be 
here in items. Oh, there it is. Next battle, EXP boost, drop boost, magical attack up. Oh, nice. Okay. Um... Let's, let's try this battle out now. You know what? So... Damn. I guess I shouldn't expect it to one-shot them. They were, like, pretty... Poor. So, I'm gonna go after these guys. Here, let's get this guy in the back. I gotta figure out how to defend against this stupid freeze, damn it! You asshole! <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Well, you know, I'm gonna just say I'm not ready yet. I don't even have gear that protects me against, like, getting frozen. Like, they just wiped me in one shot. So, you know what? It's, it's not worth it right now. I can't do anything about it. But, I am level 32, and to demonstrate, what that means in this area of the game. I can basically crush any encounter I come across. Other than those things. <laughs> those things are assholes. I beat them the very first time. I don't know how I did it, but I beat them. And now they're just fucking impossible to destroy. I guess they didn't like being beaten that way. I feel it's unfair. Those are the ones that my party should have warned me about at the beginning, and not that squirrel. Because that squirrel is super easy. He just dodges a lot. That's it. That's all he does. But those guys are fucking dicks. Yeah, I'm personally hurt. Yeah, I think I'm plenty powerful enough for now uh, to get to where, I guess, the game where, where you need to be level 32. Um, I'm a little sad. I think I feel like I leveled a little too much in that spot, only because I didn't want it to be in a pushover game. I mean, when your magic user can wipe, like, kill an enemy in one hit, you know you're, you're doing pretty good. Your levels, you're pretty secure. This makes farming for materials real easy, though, so you can just literally pick an area and destroy something and get mats. I mean, you just use momentum and you just get mats. Super, a lot of them. Super easy. And there we go. I'm going to end the video here. I don't want to, like, proceed any, any further than this. This is the general area you'll be in, so I don't want to really, like spoil anything for anybody, you know. Um, it's DGX, it's Bobby, uh, hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching me, uh, grind on that spot for a while to get some XP and some materials for money. Um, 
too bad the 3k spot didn't work out, but it looks like it may, if there isn't anything better later, may be a good spot if I could figure out how to defend myself from that stupid freeze attack, then I, I'll go back and farm that spot if I don't find anything better. DJX, Bobby out.